Yo, this is Ryan Clinton, the Hip Hop Hercules, the Hip Hop Historian, and I'm here to review the third installment of the Trinity series by The Locks entitled Third Sermon. Let's get it reviewed. What's up? There are some classic soulful samples chopped up and inserted into the tracks for some ill nostalgic feeling to them. Some tracks got a great old school feel with jazzy bass and bell drops. Then you got the hood jump off tracks with nasty synths and large bass accompanied by relatively gapped out snares. This tape and the first installment of the Trinity definitely go for a more classic street feel and succeed in doing so in production stance. Sheik has a lot of ill, nostalgic bars talking about his younger days. Like usual, he spits a lot of back then compared to now type lyrics. Of course, there is his classic descriptive hood luxury lines. And regardless of the track, how would Sheik be Sheik without the hood rat talk? No, there is not a lot of intelligence or lessons in his lines, but he succeeds in being the Donnie, the gorilla, the group as always. Ghost also talks a lot on Hood scheming to get bread, living a more fortunate life today, and his lyrical prowess. Smoke talk is smooth and, as expected, is better than the hundreds of rappers rambling about Bud these days. It would have been nice to have more of the storytelling Ghost, but he definitely went hard with his street bars. Jada does his normal heavy-hitting bar-to-bar thing he always does. Always, Rob, Pistols, Dope Dealing, and Homicide is as usual the memo. The third sermon is just another platform for him to use street lines with dope wordplay and picture painting to get across how he is one of the realest and hardest writers to do it. This is very similar to the first two installments of the Trinity. It is shooter, strong camp talk without much conceptuality. But like whenever this legendary power group puts out any form out of work, it is always going to be appealing and have a start to finish right around gangster aura to it. And of course, it's going to be one of the best mixtapes so far this year. And it's a free download, so press the damn button.